Hey guys, so um, today I was supposed to have school and it was in session, but you know, I didn't go. Why? Because it was like blizzarding outside this morning when I woke up at 7 and then went back to sleep and woke up at 7.45, which is usually the time I'd be gone by, if not earlier, because school starts at 8.15 and I live like 20 minutes away, so um... Yeah, that was a really stupid move of mine, because it takes me... Usually it doesn't take me that long to get ready, actually. Usually it's like five, maybe ten minutes. So... Yeah. It's always fun. Um... Anyway, yeah, it was like blizzarding outside this morning, and apparently like... Because my, mo my mom called in and said I won't be there, because we couldn't get out of our driveway. I mean, there's no way... In hell, I'm having my mom risk her life to take me to school, let alone risk her life to go to work. I mean, I can make up all my tests and stuff that I missed. And I'm actually kind of grateful I did, because it gives me more time to study. That's so bad and so selfish, but it's true, because I was not ready for my Spanish test in any way, shape, or form. Because I just got my vocab yesterday, and the test was today. And that's because we are actually given it Monday, but I was out... Tuesday, went home early because of the allergic reaction. Wednesday, school was canceled. Thursday, I was there all day, and I didn't go today, which was Friday. So, yeah, fun. Um, They pretty much slept all day. Mom slept until, like, 4, 4.30 or something. Gigi slept until, like, 10-ish, maybe, maybe a little before. But, um, then she woke up, and I, I was awake since, like, God, like 7.45 this morning. I haven't been asleep since, and it's almost 11 now, so, yeah. Um, trying to think. Yeah, I pretty much laid down and watched Netflix all day. That's always fun. God, I think I watched probably 10 movies, and now I'm working on Courage the Cowardly Dog. Which, if you guys have never seen it, it's this kind of creepy show cartoony thing that every once in a while still comes on Cartoon Network. But, um, it's on Netflix, like, seasons, season one, episode, all the episodes, all through season four, like, all the episodes. So, right now, like, I'm on... Season 1, episode, like, 8? Yeah. Season 1, episode 8, which is The Hunchback of Nowhere, slash, because it's always two episodes. It's, like, 10 minutes each. And one, the first one is The Hunchback of Nowhere, and the second one is, the second one is The Gods Must Be Goosey. And, uh, yeah, so... Anyway, that's pretty much what I did all day. I mean, I did one other thing, and that's because I Skyped, like, my best friend. Because, yeah. Anyway. Um. I can't really say much else, because I'm not sure what we did. Um, Mom and I went up to the store earlier. We got some soda. She, we both got a two liter of soda. We got Gigi a two liter of soda. And we got this two liter of, like, she got a two liter of soda, I got a two liter of soda, and Gigi got a two liter of soda. They left me, like, a week. And I got this giant two liter thing of Minute Maid peach, which isn't soda, it's actually juice, and it's really, really good. And it's not, like, peach juice, it's kind of, I don't know how to explain it, I just know it's really good. Um, and the only reason I know it's good is because... We bought it for Carmen at one point. We just bought her, like, a little 20-ounce bottle because she wanted to try it. And she really liked it, and she said I could have a taste, and I tried it, and I fell in love with it. It is so good. If I could, like, there are three types of juice I could drink probably for the rest of my life. And that is the Minute Maid Peach Apple Juice, primarily, like, I want to say Welch's, but that's grape juice. <laughs> Welch's white grape juice. I could drink that forever because it is so good. Um, and I can't think of, like, the name brand apple juice. Um, er, 
Anyway, uh, yeah, that's pretty much what we did all day. Anyway, so, yeah, Grandma's wedding is on Sunday, and I'm looking forward to it. Because I get to wear my dress, and my heels, and my hosiery, and my jewelry, and my jacket. And I'm actually looking forward to it, because I get to be all girly. I am not a girly girl, but for stuff like this, yes. I mean, there's actually two times at school, three times at school where I get to wear this. Twice this month, and once in April. So, yeah. Um, anyway... I guess I will just talk to you guys later. See ya.